All right, hey everyone, just wanted to show you my take on the Ultimate Fire Kit. I believe this is the last fire kit anyone will ever need. Uh, small enough to be thrown into backpacks, camping bags, uh, travel bags, emergency kits, survival kits, you know, bug out bags, get home bags, whatever you need. And you can rest assured that all your fire starting needs are all contained in this bag. So let's get to it real quick. This is the Duluth Fire Hose Smallest Parts Bag. It's about seven inches by four and a half inches, made out of their fire hose material, so very, very durable. And it has a water repellent finish to it to keep the contents somewhat waterproof. Um, as the kit stands now, I'll go ahead and weigh it here. Uh, looking at 12.6, 12.7 ounces. So not the lightest kit in the world, but uh, everything in here is, uh, if you ever depend on this, will be well worth its weight. So let's get to it. Um, first of all, this is a Parapocalypse cord, 550 cord uh, lanyard, uh, orange in color to signify fire. And this does have the uh, waxed jute cord, so additional uh, means of tender. First up, two Bic lighters. These are mini Bic lighters. Um, I did a brief description on another video, but my philosophy for the mini big lighter here is basically wrapped it with about a foot, two feet of Gorilla Tape, uh, two inch Gorilla Tape. I then wrapped it with a wax candle wick, which you can get online. Uh, I then secured that with two Ranger bands. And then the top here, as you can see, I uh, cut a, a small Ranger band to secure the fuel button so that it prevents it from becoming accidentally depressed inside the kit um, should that happen so it just prolongs the life of the lighter and then i remove the child safety ring on here just makes it easier to manipulate if your hands are cold or wet uh, the thought behind the wax jute is you basically unravel it you would then light it if you're attempting to light something once it's lit you then are saving fuel for your lighter. They would then use this to light uh, whatever you need to light to start your fire. So that's the idea behind the uh, wax jute on the mini big lighters. It would basically prolong the life of the lighter probably tenfold, if not more. Um, and then basically just do that for, for both lighters. So redundancy is the key. Um, I would use one and then keep the other one as a, as a backup. So. That is the first and probably easiest way to start fire here. Um, next, of course, no fire kits complete without a ferro rod. This is the ExoTac fire rod in orange. I then play some orange shot cord and a striker. A uh, cool thing about these is that you can replace the ferro rod with the new ferro rod they screw in. And then also uh, the body's made out of aluminum with a rubber O-ring to seal the small container where you can then place some uh, uh, tinder wicks just as a additional tinder. So um, basically any ferro rod would do in this kit, but I do like ExoTac, they make some pretty good quality stuff and I'll worry about putting that back together later. Uh, next, no kits complete without a magnifying lens. So this is one that I got from Dave Canterbury's Self-Reliance Outfitters store, uh, glass, pretty uh, pretty thick and well made and obviously you can use some which is an endless resource to start fires uh, I would then if I'm starting a fire in the day I would always go to this to try to save the rest of my kits components um, and then just focus the the beam on some tinder get a fire going that way and then this is just a, a lens cloth and then a riggers band which is also flammable can be used to start fires Uh, Stormproof matches. I have five of them. These uh, usually are a little bit longer with the, the handle, uh, the wood material. I cut it off because my thought was I'm just going to light this, place it into my fire, and then it burns super hot. It's actually will continue burning underwater, which is kind of cool. And I would only go to these if it's really bad conditions, rainy day, um, and I absolutely need to get a fire going as fast as possible. Uh, two strikers and five stormproof matches. Last resort. 
some more tinder here. So these are Wazi Survival Wax Tinder tabs. Um, each tab could probably start upwards of 10 fires if you use them sparingly. Um, so it's always good to have multiple sources of tinder. Probably my favorite source of tinder is this. This is made by Raytel. This on a, I got this on Amazon and it's basically uh, around two feet of uh, wax jute cord with a aluminum bellows. Um, this is basically um, just a lot of reusable tinder. So the idea behind this is, I'm just gonna use a lighter for ease of, uh, ease of use, but you can use a ferro rod or, or lighter or um, even magnifying glass to light the jute material, lights very quickly. You would then use that to start your fire and then you would just extend this to put it out. Now you can reuse it for your next fire. So multiply that, that quick light, lighting fire, and it, this would could probably start, I don't know, maybe 100 fires if not more. So small in size, but very useful, and it just makes your life a lot easier if you're trying to start multiple fires. Next I have, uh, this is something I put together, uh, just a little uh, hinged tin with some Ranger bands, flammable of course, and then inside I have 25 large petroleum impregnated cotton balls, which I did myself. And then I also have a backup ferro rod and striker inside of here. So um, multiple fires. And then of course with the tinder, I'm sorry, the, the hinge tin, you can use this then to create char cloth with cotton material. If you have run out of all of your tinder, which is doubtful, but you know, it is nice having options. Um, and then there are multiple videos on, on YouTube on how to create char cloth, but uh, additional tinder and fire starting ability. And then lastly, uh, this is just a section of aluminum foil from Wazoo Survival. Thought what this is, um, creating a surface to strike a ferro rod onto, um, keeps it off the ground, keeps it from getting wet. Uh, you can then also create like a little bowl out of the aluminum so that when you strike the ferro rod, it's not flying all over the place, all over the ground, but it's contained and will redirect the sparks back onto your, your tinder, um, whatever you're trying to start on fire. So, um, that's just a piece of aluminum foil, pretty heavy duty. And then this is the uh, Duluth bag. So that is basically it for my kit. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.